What's your wound? Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the fifth sneak peek promo for Rick's final episode of The Walking Dead, Season 9, Episode 5, What Comes After. This scene is in direct relation to the first episode of the show, so I wanted to compare the two. With that being said, major warning of spoilers for everything in the show up to Episode 904, and let's jump right into this. So this new sneak peek consists of another part of Rick's dream sequence referencing to the first episode, so let's go ahead and actually compare the two side by side. I'll be sure to show the side by side comparison as much as I can, but there's the whole 30 second fair use and that's a thing, so keep that in mind. Although the scenes and cuts around them aren't exactly lined up throughout the entire thing, it's still pretty much a carbon copy of one another. Rick slowly walks forward, limping as he looks around confused and just amazed at the whole spectacle, starting at the blood marks on the wall and then going through a set of open double doors, leading up to the infamous double doors that read, don't open dead inside, except now in the dream sequence the word don't has been crossed out and then the word inside has been changed to the word outside implying that don't open dead inside has changed to open dead outside. Now in the original episode Rick passes up the locked doors as zombie hands start trying to claw their way out and he instead decides to walk down a stairway so dark that he had to light a match causing him to actually be blinded by the daylight once he opened the doors to go outside. However, in the episode 905 dream sequence, Rick seems to take out the piece of wood between the handles and he opens the door getting blinded just like he did leaving the hospital in the first episode, even though in the first episode it was from going down the dark stairway. I love how they're using the end of Rick's journey to pay tribute to the beginning of his journey, making it all come full circle and giving it just a full nostalgia blast, but I hope that all of these dream sequences have deeper meanings as well and they aren't just a bunch of filler. What is the meaning of Rick opening these infamous doors? Will the light through these doors lead Rick to wake up stuck to the rebar? Or will this light lead Rick to maybe the issue 100 variant cover that we've seen in the promo trailer where he'll see dozens of dead bodies of everyone from All Out War? In the comic, the variant was people who have died in the first 100 issues, but in the show it appears to be people both dead and alive currently, so maybe it'll have just everyone who was in All Out War during seasons 7 and 8. Let me know what you guys think about all this down below, but that's pretty much it for the video guys. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today about this very last minute sneak peek as it really helps me out more than you can imagine. Feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future, and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon as well. Also follow me on Twitter too if you'd like, link to both of those in the description. I'm fairly active on Twitter even when I'm not posting videos and I'm always retweeting everything I can involving The Walking Dead universe. But anyways guys, as always, I thank you all so much for watching. Oh my god, I can't believe Rick is about to die, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.